Hello and welcome to this short video focusing on how to create a rubric in Ultra. As you can see, I'm in my assessment task. I've already got the task description and all the other information available here. And what I want to do is create a rubric to go along with this assessment task. So in order to do that, you click on the wheel, which brings up a peak panel. I'm not going to worry about any of these other details here. What I'm going to do is just scroll down to the additional tools and click on add a grading rubric. So I'm going to create a new rubric. And here you can see you've got a template. I'm going to start by just giving it a title. One of the easiest ways I find to work is to have a Word document open with all my criteria and standards in it. And what I do is I copy and paste from the Word document straight into the rubric. Now for this particular subject, it's a satisfactory and an unsatisfactory subject. So I don't need these extraneous columns here. So in order to get rid of them, I just click on them and click on the bin for this one. And I'm going to get rid of the excellent column as well. So again, click on the bin. If I was creating a different type of rubric, say an HD to a N or an HD to a fail, in order to create extra columns, you click on this cross. You can see that I've got another column here. And if I want to add more criteria, then you just click here and you get another criteria. So let's get going. I'm going to get rid of that one. Changing these titles, etc., is as easy as clicking on the pen. I don't need to do that. But what I'm going to do now is actually start working on the criteria. So I go across to my Word document and I gather my criteria, copy and paste that, bring it into here, click on the pen, backspace there, and copy it in. I'm going to get rid of my dot point. So my criteria is available there. Now I'm going to add my standard, so my satisfactory standard, moved across, I'm going to go into here, click on the pen again and just drop that in. Now I've had the experience of using satisfactory and unsatisfactory criteria sheets before or rubrics before and I know that the 50% is not going to work so what I do here is I actually make it 1%. So again I'm going to copy the criteria from my Word document and drop it in there. In order to change uh, the percentage here, again I go with the click on the pen and it allows me to make that 10% of the grade. So you just continue like that, modifying each of the different criteria. And now this is, I'm just going to get that to balance now. That will come up. So if I again if I show you what happened there. If I take this down to 10, like I have, you'll get an error message down the bottom here that says must equal to 100%. If you just click on the balance criteria and then you can change your criteria later on because what will happen then is you, you actually won't be able to edit it anymore. So balance your criteria in the meantime and then you can, you can change those grades. Okay, so I'm not going to continue to fill in this. It's, it would take too long and be too boring. I've covered the key points so if you want to add another row you click on the purple cross. If you want to add another column you click on the purple cross here and then you edit by clicking on the pens and you delete things by clicking on the bins. Make sure you save and all done. Thank you for watching.